Maxwell is a formidable scribblenaut, a wordsmith able to conjure almost any noun into existence. For his super sequel, he's done some shopping at the Imagination Emporium, where the grammarian forces that be have bestowed upon him the power of adjectives. With countless combinations to experiment with and over a hundred plus levels, has developer Fifth Cell created a lush lexicon? Or is Super Scribble Knots the equivalent of a tattered threadbare thesaurus? This grammar rodeo stops at adjectives, so no worries about spotting dangling participles. In Super Scribble Knots, Maxwell travels to several stars to recover the hidden star rights in each level. Instead of splitting the stages into either puzzle or action segments like the last game, pretty much everything is a brain teaser this time around. Though there are two special star systems, filled with spikes and lava, that practically dare Maxwell to live dangerously. That's easier now with adjectives and the invincible flying tables they afford. The puzzle stages, where you have to complete scenes, expand narratives, satisfy riddles, and do some adjective arithmetic, are now the heart of the game. Though it's frustrating when you heartily disagree with the game about whether or not a specific word satisfies a puzzle, the new hint system provides a bit of relief. Even if you get hopelessly stuck, the branching level structure lets you plot your own cosmic destiny, with whole new worlds opening constantly. Feeling particularly devious? Make your own level and share it online. Zipping past levels is easier than before with the tiered hints shedding light on the more enigmatic challenges. Even with a clue or two though, there's a lot to figure out on your own, with some stages asking you to complete them three times without repeating words, which is both excruciatingly brain taxing and exponentially rewarding. Those with a predilection for platforming can tackle the special stages, which benefit particularly well from the addition of adjectives. Though there are fewer levels in Super Scribble Knots, the quality is a definite improvement over the original. Praise to Fifth Cell for listening to its fans. The biggest fault in the first game was the control scheme, which forced you to steer Max with the stylus. This has been remedied with regular D-pad controls. Now that Maxwell behaves as a proper puppet should, those action levels buttressed by adjectival assistance are even more fun and less frustrating, so you can relax and try to dream up crazy ways of winning without fear of a deadly mishap. Just starting the game can be a challenge, since Super Scribble Knots drops you right into a sandbox where you can start jotting down your bizarre whims immediately. The depth of the dictionary is impressive, and the noun attributes are usually spot on for the more everyday interactions. Deep and labyrinthine, the adjective rabbit hole takes time to feel out and master, with some puzzles provided to help you learn the ropes. In no time, you'll be a champ, resulting in such wonders as the aforementioned invincible flying table, as well as undead tiny raptors. Adjectives offer more avenues for experimentation, and with the majority of the challenges being puzzles, the old standby of weapons and jetpacks have fallen to the wayside. The new systems and refinements simply feed back into the game's very essence, making creativity and self-amusement bigger factors than racing to the finish line. Scribble Knots offers a world of possibilities, it's just a very particular world. The cutout aesthetic offers a surprising amount of detail and animation, crossing over to real wow moments when the adjectives start flying. Purple presidents or passe, try a fiery rainbow president out before it self combusts. The music presents endless happy melodies with chipmunk samples that start to grate and will likely be muted. The original Scribble Knots showed innovation, and its sequel focuses on refinement. Playability is shot through the stratosphere, the levels are stronger than before, and adjectives blast even the lowliest Mad Libs level into a finger paint fantasy zone, with enough word empowerment to let you shrug off the occasional unrecognized input or concoction that doesn't work as you'd expect. Next time, bring on the gerunds. <laughs>